Hi guys, Adis, Hardware Busters. Uh, the Cooler Master Master Liquid 360 Atmos is a prominent all-in-one, promising high performance and low noise output. It is not uh, usual to find an all-in-one with a 5-year warranty, but in this case, uh, CM didn't have a problem providing it, uh, this guarantee since the fans are rated at 160,000 hours, mean time to failure. And the pump is even more reliable at 210,000 hours. Yeah, that's insane. Uh, this all-in-one uses a dual chamber pump designed and manufactured by Cooler Master. Uh, the cooler is also compatible with uh, CM's master control software. To be frank, I didn't install this software during testing. I didn't bother at all. I controlled the pump during uh, fan control, which is way easier and more convenient for me. And I also used the Corsair uh, commander for the fans, which Corsair commander I use in every cooler or fan review since I hacked this device and I have integrated into my fully automated cooling test suite. Anyway, back to the product. Uh, the box is 30% smaller than the typical boxes hosting 360 all-in-ones and provides good protection. Everything is neatly arranged uh, at its internals and the bundle is rich. The AGB hub which CM threw in the bundle will make your life way easier during cab management. Some photos of the fully assembled uh, all-in-one. The amount of cables leaving uh, the fans is intimidating. The radiator has the inscription designed by Cooler Master on it. And I have to inform you here that Cooler Master is among the few brands with cooling design teams and manufacturing lines. The radiator might have a slim profile, but it has 22 FPI, thins per inch, so fans with high static pressure are required for optimal performance, like the ones that uh, Cooler Master packed with this product. The block, made by Cooler Master, includes a high-speed pump that can reach up to 10,000 RPM. Despite uh, the high speeds, as I've already mentioned, uh, Cooler Master states that the pump can survive up to 210,000 hours. The sticker at the block's base helps you install the thermal paste easier. Personally, I prefer to apply thermal paste on the CPU's head speeder, not on the block. The cover of the block is lit by HB lighting and you can personalize it with your 3D designs if you have a 3D printer and you want to make something. Installing the all-in-one is easy as long uh, as you read the provided instructions. Yeah, this applies to every cooling solution out there and not only. My test methodology is provided in the full review at hwbusters.com. Sorry guys, I'm not going to repeat in every video my testing methodology and the equipment that I use. You have to go and read the review if you want to get more information on that. So let's start with the noise level at 100% and 70%. The all-in-one is not as noisy as other all-in-ones I have evaluated so far, with all the fans spinning at full speed or 70% of it. And uh, the PWM levels, noise and RPM, the maximum noise output with uh, all fans spinning at full speed is a little above 38 decibels. Normalized noise tests. Here I will only provide the 30 decibel normalized noise. If you want to check all of them, you have to look at my review on hwbusters.com. Uh, there are so many charts, I don't want to include all of them into this video. Cooler Master's offering dominates when it comes to operating temperatures and uh, when it comes down to CPU frequency it is always within the three best. Also, uh, CPU wattage is high exceeding 350 watt on all tests and uh, I've also measured exhaust uh, temperature. In this case the temperature of the radiators exhaust side in all-in-ones. Pretty low temperature there. The overall performance is high, taking the lead among all cooling solutions I have evaluated so far. This is impressive. But despite the good performance, the increased price drops the performance per price ratio. There, the deep cool all in one does very, very well. The Cooler Master, Master Liquid 360 Atmos, is a top performance all in one, leading the performance graphs. 
if only it were less expensive. But at least you get what you paid for in this case. Besides high performance, the build quality is high and the pump and the cooling fans will last forever, if Cooler Masters claims stand true. I cannot conduct extended testing to check if the insane lifetime periods that uh, Cooler Master provides stand, but the fact is that the 5 year warranty of this product means something and it will also give you a long peace of mind. My only complaint is that the fans don't have daisy chain capability, you can only daisy chain their ARGB headers, but this is not enough for me and for you, I guess. If you need the top performance all-in-one able to withstand the insane thermal loads of processors like the Intel i9-3900K in extreme conditions, PL1 and PL2 sat, uh, set at 250W, then, the Cooler Master Master Liquid T60 Atmos is the ideal choice. Since I started conducting all cooling evaluations inside my climate chamber, I noticed the vast difference between the top all-in-ones and mega air coolers. The latter might offer a trouble-free lifetime and easier maintenance, yeah, of course, but they stay notably behind in performance. Moreover, RAM compatibility is restricted for most of them and they apply massive stress to the mainboard because of the vast weight exceeding 1.5 kilos in some mega air coolers. This is why uh, many many users uh, prefer all-in-ones. I also want uh, to stress that this is an eco-friendly product. The pump top cover has been constructed from recycled plastic materials while 35% of the cooler's metal materials are recyclable. Along with sustainable packaging materials and a 30% reduction in total packaging size, the Atmos tries to, have, tries to leave a smaller environmental impact. And this is very important to me and this is why I wanted to mention that to you. So, expect more cooler evaluations uh, since I plan to fully exploit the equipment I have in my lab. Uh, yeah, I cannot hide that I like cool, cooler reviews and I also plan to dive into the custom water cooling solutions and see how much more they can offer in performance compared to plain all-in-ones and mega coolers. And also, if you are searching for fans for your all-in-one or chassis, uh, you should read my best cooling fans article before investing in new cooling solutions. You help me a lot by using my affiliate links which don't increase the product price. I just get a commission from Amazon every time you do it, which can make a difference for me, especially now that I am on my own, working exclusively for my media and not for someone else. And don't forget that uh, we invested 60k to buy this long wind machine. Only, only to provide you the most accurate fan reviews out there. So, uh, Discord server if you want to join us and talk directly to us. We'll have a Patreon page if you want to support us. We appreciate every support and all of our patrons. And uh, uh, leave a comment, subscribe and share this video. Bye bye!